Urinary retention is the inability to voluntarily pass urine. It's much more common in men than it is in women, by about 13-fold. The reason that it's more common in men is that men, as they age, develop benign prostatic enlargement. And as the prostate enlarges, that causes closing off of the bladder outlet. In women, the most common causes of acute urinary retention are distortion of the pelvic anatomy, such as from cystocele or rectocele, or scar tissue along the urethra, such as a stricture, or even pelvic masses. Other common causes of acute urinary retention in men and women include urinary tract infections, trauma to the pelvic floor, neurologic impairment, diseases of the bladder which affect the bladder function, and also medication side effects. Acute urinary retention generally presents as the inability to pass urine, also commonly associated with lower abdominal pain or suprapubic discomfort. These symptoms may be less obvious if you have what's called acute on chronic urinary retention. Chronic urinary retention goes on for long periods of time and sometimes unnoticed and even painless. However, if you develop acute on chronic urinary retention, you generally do have painful inability to avoid. A patient should seek medical attention if they have difficulty emptying, especially with an urge to void, and lower abdominal discomfort, pain, distension, or any fevers or chills. Most patients with suspected acute urinary retention will have a bladder ultrasound to confirm the diagnosis. However, if a patient comes into the office and the clinician suspects acute urinary retention based on the history and physical examination, Instead of moving straight to a bladder ultrasound, we'll sometimes just place a catheter, which will not only be diagnostic, but will also be therapeutic. For patients with a reversible cause of acute urinary retention, bladder drainage, followed by treatment of that reversible cause, is the mainstay of treatment, and nothing else further is necessary. In all cases, treatment does depend on what caused the retention in the first place. If it's a medication that caused it, we'll stop that medication. If it's a urinary tract infection, we'll treat the infection. If the patient has a neurological disease, which is impairing their bladder function, we'll generally get them through a series of tests to confirm that and then come up with a management plan to help them ensure bladder drainage for the future.